Hi, my name is Brant Widgen. I am an image enhancement uh, engineer. A normal day is uh, I, I usually receive um, a folder filled with uh, new, new uh, space images and uh, my task is to clear them up. I tweak some of the contrast, uh, the color palette, and most of the time, I would say 80% of the time, is the removal of uh, cats. The problem is that they are obscuring the, uh, the astronomical um, phenomena that, that, uh, that our scientists and, and the public would be more interested in seeing. I think there was a time in my career where I did resent space cats and their tendency to photobomb, you know, these images. But it's like it's like getting angry at the sunshine. You know, it's 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 like being jealous of a bag of sand. These things are just things and they're they're doing what they are meant to do. <laughs> I can, I can see them right away when I look at it because I've just been doing doing it a long time. But right here, you can see the two ears, and, and you can see this one. He's kind of looking up, and it's almost as if like there's a there's a, a, a space yarn, and you know he wants to get up at him. But we have to get rid of them, and this is what you'll see eventually. It's like they weren't even there. But they were, and I can actually still see uh, what we call the the, uh, the feline signature. And this one right here, his name is Buttons. I think one of the most difficult cases of space cat photobombing was with the classic Hubble Pillars image that we're all familiar with. There was a tiny little tabby peeking around one of the pillars and it was just uh, it was too adorable to almost erase because it was like it was like the pillar was his little scratching post and he was just peeking out to say you know hello I trust you and I love you I know okay there was a tabby floating there right around this uh, dust of, of clouds, but you can't see it anymore. All you see is, is the, uh, the cold and empty majesty of space. And, and the space cats are completely gone and, and you know, I know where they are, but, uh, but nobody else does. And that's kind of a good feeling. It's a little bit selfish, but it's, I mean, it makes for good, for good stories.